Hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield where we are now on episode 9 and I'm actually really excited that I want to share what I've done between 8 and this episode so welcome everyone to the very first outpost that I have ever built in the game so it's a little bit of a mess at the moment um, this can be the recreation area I need to tidy it all up and everything I don't know what this can be yet, um, so it's still it's a still it's a work in progress. Yes, you need me. No, I don't need you, Andrea. Um, and yeah, so this will be where we. Um, come on, Sam. Um, mm. Do our mission. So we need to go back to um, see Walter. And then later down the track, we will make the outpost bigger and better. And we want to go to the lodge. Set off. Yes, I am, Walter. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. All right. go to Neon, which I've never actually been to. to Neon. Okay. Okay, so we need to go and see There's Walter. There's settled systems quite like Neon. Ah, smell that? Construction. Crazy, terrible, Incense. but never Industrial chemicals of every kind. 
But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm mass. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekron offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. All right. Let's rock and roll. There should be a sign, dump your Aurora here. Too much time trying to stop bad guys here. Whole place just gives me a headache. Benjamin Bayou is so not compensating for anything. Edo maniac. Astral Lounge. I mean, fashion time. Don't tell Walter, <laughs> but his company can make a hell of a ship. Mr. Stroud, you didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Hello, Mr. Stroud. You are so... Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute. A mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company brand. Co-CEO. Heir to the Eklund fortune, and somewhere down there I'm his wife, yes. Didn't know our marriage was such a low priority. Oh, it jumps up the list at the right moments. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes, the daring explorers. My partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Re <coughs> yes? <coughs> Why are you here, Walter? <coughs> Our meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Okay. A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. With no leverage. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into this. Then, some preliminary. Bribe a few bouncers. Alter the code. Yes, ex. I hate beans. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be. And it should. Meet me back here. Okay. Astro Lounge. Nice.
Excuse me, sorry. You're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, we have plenty of that. But why not try... Here, and take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. You can look, but we both. Okay. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. Wonderful. Here's your key. The Trade Tower elevator will take you directly to your new home. And if there's anything I can prove... The Astral Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge. Excellent. We do hope you're meeting. Hope to see you again. All right. I'm gonna have a look at the penthouse. You know why? I'm gonna have a look at the VIP room. Hey. Don't make my job any harder. It's not working. be a different mechanism for this thing on. Okay. Okay, so there's two just here that I can use, yep.
Take a while. No, no. Gotcha. 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 Thank you. Okay. Whatever you're doing. Well, looks impressive. Well, thank you. Um, I do not want to have a gun in my vicinity. Alright, so let's go... Welcome to Newell's. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. That man has that. He skips. Mer uh... By standing up for the low life, I refuse to be. A lot of the merchants... It's nothing formal. Yeah, sure. If all you can. Every payment secret. Anyway. If you'll forgive the outburst. Uh... Maybe I did. Information isn't usual. All right, all right. Uh... Okay. Sleep crate one. Okay. So I need to go to sleep. No, wrong way. Appreciate it. I need to go this way now. Musgrove, you must not be aware. Da, 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 okay. Okay. 
Ah, so that's the door there. Sky Sweet. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah, sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Lillian and me, I uh, tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. I know I woke Cora up. Well, that statement's gonna keep me up at night, like everything, everything. Just so you know, there's a long, uh, uh Lillian. But it is always, and I mean, back when I was a rain. Oh, don't worry, you're in a category all your own. What was I? The one that she tried to convince <coughs> to shut me down. Okay. Eh, we were making each other miserable. It's funny, our latest. I told her what you told me. I just know. But Lillian? Eh, don't be. Cora's been stood up always for the best reason. But at a certain point, Lou, I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Okay. I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Yeah, okay. Let's just do that later because I want to. You're still so tense. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. Okay. Yeah, sorry if I'm a little out of it. Lillian and me got a little heated. Can see your mind racing. No, no, I'm careful about that. I mean, I try and not. Ah, uh, really. But it is always. And back when I was a ranger. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So. I could do the job, sure. That wasn't the problem. Traveling, explore. But one day, she tried to convince. She shot me down. You would have better off marrying a hope. Yeah. Separation ain't known to be. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting. I told her what you told me. I just know. But Lillian? No. Nah, don't be. Cora's been stood up at times. Always for the best reason. But at a certain point. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering If I do that, you all might want to invest in some industrial strength earplugs. And for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail. Everything ready? To the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. All right, time to... There's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like. We should split up. Standard operating procedure. Remember. Ah, 
What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? I don't look like you're drinking. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I... Got in your way, sorry. I just saw our cellar walk by. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground. He'll ask for twice. Don't worry about the. Our goal is to get it. And this will be fun. All right. Now, no violence. That's the one thing that we do not do. I'm not in. What do you mean you're not in the mood? I didn't do anything, I swear. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah. Well, look at that. One of a kind. And I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now, how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? What the? Security! As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. We have it. This couldn't have gone better. Well done. Some high pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? If you'll excuse me, I need to get out of town. Okay. You do that. Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Okay. Slayton is a man of considerable resources. Hmm. Goodbye. It's... Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Okay. Okay, 
bounty, that's... Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Is that a threat? Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Okay. Uh... You have a question? You can chat with the receptionist all you want. Wait, this clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. <laughs> A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cupboard just to the right of the elevator in the cave. Security is on full alert. Okay, I want to... Don't tell Cora about this one. Go to the next floor. Okay. Um. Um. How? Um, 
Ow. You know that's not ours. Um, how am I... A second. Um. All right. Okay, so we need to go this way. Um, okay. Oh, wrong 
moments like this that really makes Neon the He's got its eyes on Saburo over Digbo. That's trouble for the status quo. Oh, 
ship is created from a power beyond your understanding. Its semblance to your own vessels only aids us in masking our presence. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge, or drown in it. A sentiment that is shared by my kind about you. We're not the ones making threats. Your moral grandstanding is hollow, as is your position. Make up your mind or we will act. I'm not liking what I'm seeing. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. You really want to risk a straight fight with an enemy we- We can wait Get no longer. out of here! Prepare yourself for oblivion. How is Neon? Are you... are you okay? Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just okay. bring it up on here at the table. Okay. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything... <coughs> really. What the... Everyone? Come take a look at this. That's no faction visible creeps and fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Lord. Demand, in fact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? None in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Uh, another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra-dimensional original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that, is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force.
Or what Walter said. They were acting like a parent. Worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So, they're strong-arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can, including some way to fight them if necessary. Until then, we stay the course, collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that now concludes this episode. Thank you. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.